What is a multi-vortex tornado? When most people picture a tornado, they imagine a single massive funnel descending from a thunderstorm and tearing across the landscape. But some tornadoes are far more complex than that. A multi-vortex tornado is a type of tornado that contains two or more smaller sub-vortices rotating around a common center. You can think of it like a giant parent tornado with several more miniature tornadoes swirling inside it. Each of these smaller vortices can pack extreme winds that cause localized pockets of destruction, sometimes even worse than the central funnel itself. These sub-vortices typically form within very intense tornadoes, often EF3 or stronger on the enhanced Fujita scale, when people describe seeing multiple funnels at once or damage patterns that look like several separate tornadoes hit the same spot, they're often describing a multi-vortex event. How tornadoes form in the first place. To understand how multi-vortex tornadoes develop, it's essential first to know how a regular tornado forms. It all starts with a supercell thunderstorm, a powerful storm with a rotating updraft known as a mesocyclone. Inside this storm, warm, moist air from the surface rises and meets cooler, drier air aloft. The contrast between these air masses, along with wind shear, a change in wind direction or speed with height, creates horizontal spinning tubes of air. When the updraft lifts one of these rotating tubes, it can tilt vertically, forming the spinning column that becomes the tornado. Once it touches the ground, that column becomes the destructive funnel we recognize. The transition to a multi-vortex tornado. Now, here's where things get fascinating. As the primary tornado forms, it begins to rotate faster due to angular momentum, the same physics that makes a figure skater spin faster when they pull their arms in. But within this spinning column, areas of varying pressure and wind speed begin to develop. These small fluctuations can cause the tornado's circulation to break down into smaller, tighter vortices, each spinning around the larger center. This process is called vortex breakdown, and it's what transforms a single tornado into a multi-vortex one. These smaller vortices can last only a few seconds or persist for minutes, moving around the core in a dance-like pattern that's mesmerizing and terrifying to watch. The role of wind shear and instability. Multi-vortex tornadoes need the perfect combination of wind shear and instability. Strong wind shear provides the rotational energy necessary for complex structures inside the tornado, while instability, the contrast between warm and cold air, fuels the storm's updraft. When both are extreme, the tornado's rotation becomes so intense that the internal airflow reorganizes itself into smaller, spinning cores. Each vortex can produce wind speeds exceeding 250 miles per hour, even if the main tornado's average winds are slightly lower. That's why some areas along a tornado's path show signs of catastrophic damage while nearby buildings remain almost untouched. It's the sub-vortices doing their chaotic work. Visual Clues of Multi-Vortex Tornadoes to the human eye, spotting a multi-vortex tornado isn't always easy. Often, the smaller vortices are hidden inside the debris cloud or masked by rain. However, under the right lighting conditions, storm chasers and researchers can sometimes see multiple suction vortices swirling rapidly around the central funnel. High-speed cameras have captured incredible footage of this phenomenon. Tiny funnels orbiting the larger core in a constant loop sometimes merging or disappearing within seconds. Radar data also helps confirm these structures, revealing multiple rotation centers within a single tornado circulation. Why multi-vortex tornadoes are so dangerous? What makes multi-vortex tornadoes especially destructive is the uneven distribution of damage. Instead of one broad path of destruction, they leave behind streaks of intense devastation where the smaller vortices touch down. These paths are often narrow but far more severe, capable of ripping asphalt off roads or sweeping houses clean from their foundations. People caught within one of these vortices experience extreme, rapid changes in wind direction and pressure, making survival even harder. Meteorologists believe that many of the mystery damage patterns after significant tornadoes, like cars thrown in strange directions or structures shredded unevenly, are the result of multi-vortex dynamics. Real-world examples of multi-vortex tornadoes. Some of the most famous tornadoes in history were multi-vortex systems. 
The Tri-State Tornado of 1925, which remains the deadliest in U.S. history, likely contained multiple vortices as it carved a 219-mile path through Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana. More recently, the Joplin, Missouri Tornado of 2011 also displayed clear multi-vortex characteristics, producing wildly uneven patterns of destruction that puzzled investigators. Other examples include the Bridge Creek Moor Tornado in Oklahoma, 1999, and the Tuscaloosa-Birmingham Tornado of 2011, both of which showed evidence of sub-vortices in radar scans and damage surveys. These events highlight how common multi-vortex structures are in the most powerful tornadoes. The Science Behind Vortex Breakdown Scientists studying tornado dynamics often rely on fluid dynamics and computational simulations to understand how vortex breakdown occurs. Essentially, when the airflow inside the tornado becomes too strong for the central column to maintain stability, it breaks apart into smaller spiraling cores. This is similar to how a river's current can split into multiple swirling eddies when it encounters obstacles. In a tornado, the obstacles are changes in air density, temperature, or wind speed. Researchers use Doppler radar, drones, and numerical models to simulate and analyze these processes, aiming to improve predictions of when a tornado might become multi-vortex. The damage signature of multi-vortex tornadoes. After a tornado passes, investigators often use damage surveys to estimate its strength and structure. Multi-vortex tornadoes leave behind very distinct clues, like small circular areas of destruction surrounded by zones of lesser damage. These patterns often appear as swirls or streaks within the primary damage path. These signatures have helped scientists confirm that even tornadoes that looked normal at first glance were actually multi-vortex in nature. In some cases, the smaller vortices can even increase the effective width of the tornado's damage path by several hundred yards, intensifying the storm's overall impact. How Meteorologists Detect Multi-Vortex Tornadoes Thanks to advanced technology, meteorologists can now identify signs of multi-vortex structures in real time. Doppler radar is handy, as it can detect multiple areas of rotation within a single storm. When radar shows tight, clustered circulations moving around a larger core, forecasters know they might be dealing with a multi-vortex tornado. In addition, mobile radar units and storm chaser footage have become invaluable for studying these tornadoes up close. Data from these observations not only improve warning systems, but also help researchers refine their understanding of tornado physics. Myths about multi-vortex tornadoes there are a few common myths surrounding multi-vortex tornadoes. One is that each visible funnel is a separate tornado. It's not. They're all part of the same parent circulation. Another myth is that multi-vortex tornadoes are always stronger than single vortex ones. While they often occur in violent storms, not every powerful tornado splits into multiple vortices. The formation depends on the internal stability and airflow of the storm, not just its strength. It's also a misconception that seeing multiple funnels means multiple tornado warnings. Meteorologists issue a single warning for the entire rotating system since all the vortices belong to the same tornado event. 